Hey guys, uh, Britton Daniel here for another battle report. We're doing a thousand points uh, Death Watch versus uh, Chaos with using some of their new Traders Hate stuff. So it's going to be the detachment uh, formation plus the Chaos Warband, right? Uh, it's the Black Crusade detachment, which is, yeah, the Chaos Warband and the Spawn Auxiliary. Okay, cool. Um, so uh, here's the table we're going to be playing on. We cut off about a foot of it, roughly. Uh, so it's going to be a 4x5 at a thousand points. I figure that's probably a reasonable size. Um, we're going to be playing Spoils of War. Objectives are as follows. we got three. Over here we got five. Six in the... Oh. Six is in here. Four is over there beside the bridge. One is here next to the trees. And two is over there by the other tree. So you can see we table set up. Uh, I won the roll to choose sides. I chose to deploy over here on the left hand side. So that means Daniel will be deploying over here. Daniel, however, won the roll to deploy first or second, and he chose to deploy first, so he'll be deploying first over here. Hey guys, this is uh, the Death Watch army here. So first up we have my uh, uh, Watch Captain. He's going to be in Terminator armor. He doesn't have that armor storm shield. This is just sort of to differentiate him. He has Relic Blade and Storm Bolter. He is next to a Vet Squad here, so this is just going to be a CAD. Uh, vet Squad has a Heavy Flamer. A frag cannon and three shotguns. Second vet squad is five stalker bolters. So you can see them right there. First elite slot is going to be a uh, two man terminator squad. They both have missiles and lightning claws. Second elite slot is going to be Dreadnought. Uh, the only upgrade here on him is going to be a heavy flamer. He's actually modeled as such. And uh, he's going to be arriving via drop pod. Let's see, finally, or not finally. Well, the rest of the CAD we have a uh, biking or a biker group. We have a five-man bike team. All of them have power swords, and the guy who actually has a power sword has melted bombs in it as well. So five-man bike squad, and then finally, last thing, we're going to be bringing an Eversor here. So uh, Eversor assassin. First time putting him on here, so uh, hopefully he works out for us. We'll see. Uh, I've only kind of started painting him, so he's not quite done, but we're working on it. Same with the Dreadnought. Uh, I'm just being lazy. I'm not sure what to do with the Dreadnought yet. So uh, that is my uh, 1,000 points of uh, Death Watch plus an Assassin. All right. Hey, guys. This is uh, Daniel and the Chaos Army. Like I said, running the uh, one of the new command formations from Traders Hate along with the Spawn Auxiliary, which is just Spawn. Uh, I will say they are two separate formations because, you know, take Spawns and uh, units of one. Anyway, so aside from the two Spawns, have the Hellbrute, two uh, obligatory Chaos Space Marines. Um, let's see, have my five chosen. Uh, the three with uh, power weapons and lightning claws are just uh, power swords. And then the champ has power sword plasma gun. Chaos Lord will be rolling with them. Unfortunately, he's not in Terminator armor for this game. Anyway, they have this nice metal box to ride around in. And then finally, nine raptors. Getting the world trait, he has uh, fear, and uh, over here we have my guy. He has all his weapons are master crafted. It's called uh, Master the Castellan or something like that. So with that, we're gonna go to deployment. Oh, into uh, deployment we have uh, Space Marine Squad One, Space Marine Squad Two, Hellbrute Raptors, Spawn Spawn, and the Rhino with the Chosen and Lord, Lord right? Okay. So onto this side, we've deployed uh, both missile launcher terminators back here, the five bikes, the stalker squad is up here in the mushroom rock formation, the frag and uh, heavy flamer squad is up here, and my Eversource over here hiding behind the log, just waiting. So that uh, does it for deployment, and I am going to opt not to seize initiative. So uh, we go to turn one chaos.
Go into uh, Chaos Movement Phase first. His objectives were uh, kill a character, secure objective five, which is right over there, and destroy a vehicle, which is not currently on the table, but will be. So we're going to the movement phase. Spawn number one, go into there. Spawn number two, goes to there. And the rhino, can go a little further. There you go. And I bumped him. There you go. And these guys are gonna raptors. You know, just move up there, and the rest are gonna follow suit. Yeah. Uh, and the Helbert's gonna move through cover. Uh, five inches. All right. Go are you. And finally, the last Chaos Space Marine squad is going to move up to there. Space Marine's ending there. Hellbrute right there, and the Raptor's finishing up right there. So the Hellbrute is going to take a shot with his multi melta into these guys, right? Yes. Okay. So into the Vet Squad, hitting on fours. It's a hit. And wounding on twos. One. Go you. <laughs> quality Helbert is quality. All right. Uh, with that, we have uh, some run moves to make. So we're going to just black dice is this guy, white dice is the other one. So he goes an inch. He goes three. Two. Two inch for the Raptors. Uh, and the final Space Marine squad over there is going to go two inches. Well. Oh, there. guys are in a big hurry today. Yeah. Overachievers. Give Chaos uh, turn one. Uh, Chaos spawn finish their run. Raptors and the uh, Space Marine squad over there finish through the run as well. Give Death Watch turn one. Uh, I'm attempting to bring in the drop pod. I also rolled for objectives. Got kill a vehicle, secure objective six, which is in there, and secure objective two, which means I'm giving him objective two. So we're gonna try to bring the drop pod in. and got exactly one inch between him and the drop dot, or his hell brute. So we're gonna scatter six inches to the right, which is perfectly fine. They're not getting out just like so, so multi melt into the back, hopefully. Well, on to the movement phase, uh, bikes are gonna just come right up here to the uh, edge here, of the war rocks, and basically kind of do that. Let's do that. And wrap him dry it up first. Since Power Sword guy wants to stay safe. And, yep, that should do it. Just like that. Make sure I can see my target. And we'll just scooch him over just a touch, and we're good. Uh, the Terminators are just going to bump over just in case they need to help out. And if not, then they can shoot at them. And now the Hellbrute will not get cover from the Terminators. Or for the Stalkers, they're just going to chill and, I don't know, shoot it with something over here. Finally, Eversaur is going to stay still, and this squad is going to basically jump back over here. Uh, essentially, I just have to make sure I don't move further than this or like further than basically out here, so. Okay, just like that. Shooting phase, uh, I have declared that my first uh, target, of course, is going to be elites. So re-rolling on ones if I fail to hit, or re-rolling ones fail to hit. Uh, first shot, multi melt into the back. One. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is a one in thirty-six chance. A storm bolter from the drop pod into the raptors, hitting on threes. Two hits, wounding on fours. Toughness four, right? Toughness four. Okay. <laughs> oh, these 50-50s. Um, hitting uh, next, I'm going to be shooting the uh, Hellfire shots into here. So we have 10 shots, poison, two up. So hitting on three is first. Twin linked. Good thing, twin linked. And wounding on twos. So all those are three up saves. Oh man. And let's end up these guys here. So one, two, 
three dead. So front three, basically. One of them is probably looks like your champion, right? Or he's the champion. Okay. But that is going to be a leadership check. So you can go and take that. Well, uh, let's wait, because if I shoot, I may end up killing. No, because I'm shooting from this angle, right? So I wouldn't kill your champion. So go and take your leadership, just in case. Nope, they're fine. And uh, now we have four shots from the crack missiles into the uh, Hellbrute. So hitting on threes, we're rolling ones. And of course they get a two. Glancing on fours, I think, right? Uh, which side it facing? Or it's front-ish. Okay. Front or side, it's still 12, right? Uh, I think it's, yeah, 12, sorry. Yeah. 12, 12, 12. So uh, strength eight. So winning on fours, or glancing on fours. Just one. Still. So it's down to two? Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay, after looking at it, I would need fives to glance, and with my luck, it's not worth even shooting. So I'm just going to lose a shotgun guy to him. Or actually, he's probably gonna just going to blow up my dreadnought. Um, so frag cannon into the raptors, hitting on threes. Uh, and wounding on twos. It's a wound, and it ignores your armor, so it's five up cover, basically, because I'm shooting through the window. Yeah. One. One. So, mm. guy out front is dead. This one or this one? Guy out front. This one. And then we have two storm bolter shots hitting on three or twos from the captain, and wounding on fours. Is master, master crafted, is that rerolling hits or wounds? Uh, shall we I think it's hits, so I think it's just one. Three up armor for the raptor. Made it. Evaluating targets, I'm going to shoot at the claw of the spawn that I can see his arms flailing around. So we have ten shots, poison two up hellfire shots, hitting on threes. Okay. And twos. Uh, and you got five up cover. Could be enough to... As long as you, you have to make, you make two of them. And dead. dead. Okay, on to uh, Chaos turn two. Uh, Daniel is starting off movement phase. He's going to start off with the Chaos Space Marine Champion, right? Yeah. And his loyal Psychic. Buddy. His sidekick. <laughs> Alright, and then they aren't going to go their full inches, it looks no. like. They're just going to... Yeah, I'm not just going to okay. follow around. And the Hellbrute, right, uh, we were going over it, then you were hold on the Frenzy table from the damage and got, what was the name of it? Oh, uh, Fire Frenzy. Fire Frenzy. So the Hellbrute immobilizes itself and shoots at anything that it... Shoots twice. Shoots twice, yeah, it gets to shoot twice, but only against things in range, prioritizing things that hurt it. Well, these guys are 36 inches, and though they are in the arc of that weapon, uh, they're too far away to get shot. These guys are too far away to get shot, so I didn't even have the option to shoot them with the frag cannon. The else drop pod that. and everything else is either out of the arc of the weapon or behind him. So he basically just stands there this turn. He's, he's unsure of what just happened, basically. <clears throat> Poor Helbert. Alright, moving on. <clears throat> so, spawn. Spawn's gonna go up there. Okay. The raptors are going to use jump packs to get over to there, and the rest will follow suit. And then the what about the rhino? Uh, rhino's staying where it is, but it's gonna dislodge the, uh, the contents. Okay, so the chosen and the castle are gonna jump out. Yep. Okay. Okay, so um, upon talking with Daniel and us uh, deciding that. The, the the Chaos Lord and friends getting out probably wouldn't be the best idea because the Dreadnought would just charge them. Uh, instead, they're going to stay happy in their Rhino and non-dead. <laughs> For now. And they're going to get within three inches of two and just take it like that inside the Rhino. Uh, anyways, we have some run moves, right? Yeah. Let's, so we'll start uh, with the Raptors. One inch. Oh, you guys. They have fleet though, right? Uh, or is it just for charges? That's just charge roll. Oh, okay. Um, anyone else running over here? Or are they shooting? They're shooting, right? Yeah, I think everyone else is uh, shooting. 
And the spawn, is he going to run or chill? No, he's hiding. All right, so we're coming back with the shooting, or the shots. So starting off shooting, we have four shots. They're in rapid fire range of the bikes, so four shots hitting on threes. Wow, guys. That is, uh... It's like my rules of last turn. Yeah. Yeah. And wounding, strength four, so wounding on fives. All right. <laughs> you almost got a full set. Keep working. Uh, so these guys aren't quite rapid fire, so it's just five shots hitting on threes. Same thing. <clears throat> that was six dice. <laughs> was it? Yes. Oh. You rolled six dice. I could have sworn I took one. So... Four. That's oh, just yeah, you're right. here. Let's roll, roll one more dice on a one, two, three. It was one of the hits on a four, five, six. It wasn't okay. So it wasn't one of the hits. So three hits wounding me on fives. And three up armor. <laughs> really? Ah, blah. That Poor biker. Unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking only time they get shot at. Three up armor. Bail. Alright, so. <clears throat> we got two plasma shots into the dreadnought. Wasn't quite rapid fire range for the plasma guns. What is this? Two, no, the stats for plasma gun. So, strike what? seven, AP two. Yeah, so hitting on threes. Hits. And strength seven into armor 12. You need fives to glance. Mm. Nope. I love it. Yep. It's all right. It makes up for my uh, dead biker from a single shot. <laughs> well, all right. I believe that's everything. So no more shooting, right? Yeah. The, does this actually have the gun on top or no? It has a combi bolter, but I, it, strength five. I don't yeah, think it actually. It can't hurt the dreadnought then. Okay. Fair strength enough. four. Sorry. Yeah, it can't hurt the dreadnought. All right. So at the end of uh, Daniel's turn, he actually he doesn't melt it, doesn't he? Who? The dreadnought. Yes. I think I might want to pop smoke with the rhino. Okay, so you're gonna pop smoke then? Why not? Okay. Back, well, will I get cover <clears throat> from my little branch? I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess I could move to take away that away. So it's probably safer to pop smoke, yeah. I guess. Uh, let's see, what is that? It's just, no, you don't have to roll anything. It's just, you have smoke. <laughs> All right, so with that, uh, Daniel did not manage to count uh, accomplish an objective but he did steal objective two for me so the current score is two to two since I have first blood and objective six Daniel has objective five and stole my objective two I only have a couple moves uh, rolled for my objectives I got secure objective six different roll so it's still over there and I got uh, control three control three objectives yeah which probably is not gonna happen so I'll probably end up ending this Starting off, we have a move through cover roll here for the assassin. So 3d6. He's going to go three inches. That's okay. He's just going to basically hop in here and shoot a spawn. Next up, we have <clears throat> the bikers who want vengeance. And they're all going to come flying up here and basically end an inch away. And they're going to stay, they're going to stay. So, if you're looking at distances, I uh, decided to move these guys, their six inch run back, and they're just going to shoot at the uh, their enemies through a log, which means that's a much harder charge for the raptors. All right, shooting phase. Uh, we're going to start off here with the melta gun, or multi melta on the dreadnought. See if he feels like doing something. I actually just realized I actually could have shot the heavy flamer last turn because rear armor is 10, so it actually could have glanced the dreadnought. If you're a walker and I'm a walker, why would you get rear armor? Because from behind. I know, but won't. Oh, no, it's only in melee, yeah. So multi melta, I'm still on elites. Again? So that's 6 to the 4th now? What is that? Ridiculous? Yeah, roughly that's. Uh, I don't, I, I, I'm at a loss of words on this. This guy cannot manage to hit a dreadnought that's literally a foot away. No, not even, like, from his perspective, it's probably about, like, five meters out. Can't manage to hit a dreadnought. 
Heavy Flamer, at least auto hits. Glances on fives. Hey, he's glanced. Oh, he's down to one. He's crazed again. <laughs> Five, I should have shot the Flamer at him last turn because he might be dead right now. Um, we'll probably go to the uh, missile launchers now. So the four missiles into the Dreadnought, hitting on threes and wounding on fours. He's dead. And a pen, but it doesn't matter. They can't actually blow him up. So he's just dead. Uh, next, we have eight twin linked shots. I am going to shoot the AP3 Vengeance rounds here. So these R gets hot, but I am twin linked. One gets hot. And they're fine. All hits. These are strength four, so toughness five, because of Mark and Nurgle, right? Yep. So wounding on fives. Dead, dead, dead. So just three dudes dead. <clears throat> uh, next, Stormbolter in the drop pod, shooting at the Raptors, hitting on threes. And wounding on fours. Nope. Uh, we're going to go to the Eversaur next. He has four pistol shots, shooting the poison, four up poison, or pistol at the, I don't know, kill it with fire. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is because it's toughness six, thanks to Mark and Nurgle. So, hitting on twos. And twos, see, ballistic skill eight, so rerolling into uh, fours. Yeah, fours. I'll right? Do it quick. Yeah, ballistic skill five is twos, which means then it's ballistic skill three. So, hitting on fours. Nope, missed. So, poison four up, four shots. All right, uh, it just takes two, so it's down to one. Oh, this is a leadership shot test over here as well. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have two Stormbolter shots from a uh, captain here shooting into the Raptors. You can see him through the uh, log there. So hitting on threes, or hitting on twos actually, and wounding on fours. One wound, so three of armor. He's fine. And two frag cannon shots hitting on threes. Hits and wounding on twos. Two dead. Uh, I don't think you have cover. Nah, because the tree's to the left and it kind of is like shooting straight through like that gap. So these two? Yeah, I can't see that guy. So two down, and nothing else is in range to shoot, and I gotta pick a stalker target. Okay, so in the interest of trying to keep objective six, I will have the stalkers all shoot at the two-man squad over there. So we're hitting on threes, winning on twos because I'm using dra dragon fire. And winning on twos. And those are all three ups. I feel lucky. Nope. Three. Failed three, so they're super dead. Super dead. So with that, we're going straight into the assault phase. Uh, I am obviously declaring this charge. Do you want oh, to... Do your ship for these guys. Alright, so we're going to leadership wrong. first. Nope, they're fine. Uh, leader, let's see. Charge, do you want to overwatch with bolt pistol or close comp or uh, bolt gun? So uh, he's using bolt pistol and he's using a bolt gun, so three shots, overwatch, hitting on sixes. And wounding on fives. Okay. Oh. Charge. Super in. That is going to give me all four uh, hammer wraths. So those happen first. Wounding on fives. Three up armor. They're fine. Okay, I gotta collect dice. Actually, we can just do your attacks first. So you get their base attack is one, I'm guessing, right? I think so. Because they're normal marines, they're not vets or chosen. So. Champ has base two attacks. Okay, so he gets three because of the close combat bolt pistol. And then the other guy just has one attack. All right. So is he weapon skill anything different? No, 
weapons go for. Okay, so everything just sits on fours. And, and colors don't matter. They matter to me. Oh, okay. So everything gets on fours. Pretty good. And wounds me on fives. Three up armor. Nope, someone's dead. I'm just gonna start off with half their attacks. We are hitting oh, on geez. fours. Jesus Christ, are you kidding? Like five misses, four hits. Wounding on four wounding on fives again. One's dead. And then another eight attacks. Hitting on fours. Ooh. I do not feel good about this. Wounding on fives. He's dead. But you manage to kill one somehow. Because every fucking wound goes through on bikes, apparently. Uh, consolidate on the bikes. Five inches. Uh, I'm going to see if that'll get me an energy six. Probably not. So, into uh, Chaos turn three, Daniel uh, does not get any new objectives. He's just kind of holding on to what he currently has. So, going into the movement phase. Yeah, he's good. So, the spawn is going to do what? The spawn is going to go. Stare at the Eversaur. You can see him. <laughs> and then the Raptors. Okay, so after a little bit of thinking, the Raptors are just gonna move up to there. The final movement here, the uh, Rhino is gonna go cruising speed up to there. He's already popped smoke. <laughs> I, I feel like the Chaos Lord might be uh, threatening this Raptor with, uh, yeah. Yeah, they better make a really good run move. Yeah. <laughs> or else, right? <laughs> All right, so we're going to come back to uh, shooting phase. Starting off the shooting phase, the rhino and the pl and two plasmas are going to take shots. The white represents plasma, the green is the combi, so on sixes. Snap shooting because cruising speed. Plasma does hit, and a uh, re roll over there. Missed. So wounding me on... you're shooting at the marines, right? Yeah. On twos. And four up save, or no, five up, because he's not inside. So five up, cover save. Nope. Dead shotgun. Yeah, I don't know, what do you think is closer? The Dark Angel or the Nord Marine? Probably the Dark um, Angel. Yeah, Dark Angel, I think. Poor Dark Angel. I am sad. I like this guy. He's pretty cool looking. I, yeah. He's made me want to get some veterans of my own, the cape, of, not cape, the robes. <laughs> Yeah. All right. And um, four bolt pistol shots into the Marines as well on sixes. Or no, three is normal. Sure. Ooh. Pretty good. And wounded me on fours. The assassin? Oh, assassin. So yeah, fours. Tough as four. Oh. He's tough for a person. All right. Mm. And four up save. Both cover and invulnerable in this case. Nope. He's down to two. Put that on top of the log. Yeah, probably. <laughs> He's kind of like down in there, staring at a spawn. So... Go to assault phase now. The spawn's going to charge, yes? No, nah, I'm going to let him soak bullets for another turn. He's just going to chill? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so he's still got one health, right? Yeah. Oh, did I yep. use one of the... Sorry. Yeah, it's all good. All right, uh, with that we go to uh, stick this on the base. Yeah, we go to Death Watch turn three. Starting off, I have a couple move through covers. First, the assassin. Uh, that's pretty bad. I don't think he has fleet though. Check. check. Okay, uh, he does not have fleet. However, I'm going to go ahead and roll for that. He does have feel no pain. We missed that, so we're going to make that roll. Nope. So that's fine, you're just going to make it a 3 inch move. And the assassin hops out of that hole in the log and goes to there. Next I have a uh, difficult terrain here, so 2d6. 3 inches, that's fine, it gets inside. Alright, the dreadnought is just going to saunter this way, 6 inches. And last, the, uh, or not last, then I have the uh, terminators, they're just going to Kind of basically go this way, get vision of uh, all the 
Raptors. And finally, I am going to do two things at once. They're going to get 12 inch movement plus turbo boost, and it gets them up to there to get me ascendancy. Um, what's the third one? Uh, well, assuming the Evasaur doesn't manage to die, you will get it. <laughs> So we got a melt -a shot here, multi melt -a shot hitting on threes. Oh right, and I'm switching my target to whatever the raptors are. Uh, what are the raptors? Fast attack. Fast attack. So uh, new target is fast attack. So hitting on threes hits, wounding on uh, or glancing strength eight, rear armor ten. So glancing on twos. That is a pen. Uh, you do get a. Four up cover, it looks like. Okay. Three. No nope. such luck. So let's see what happens. It explodes. Ooh. Kaboom. How far does it explode? Six inches. Oh, Jeez. God. That is all of those raptors as well. It is. Starting with the raptors, strength four hits. We have six of them. All six were hit. Hitting or wounding on uh, fours. So just two. Three up saves. Mm, one dead. So one flamer, yeah, closest guy. <clears throat> and the guys inside, how many are in here? Six. Six hits inside, okay. So six possible. Wounding on fours. And uh, let's see, we gotta randomize it, right? So um, see what who's inside? It's a Chaos Lord. Uh, yeah, there's six of them. Why don't you? Okay, yeah, we're just yeah, just, just set them up in in a row, and we're just doing like that. Six. Okay, so we're just do one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. So one, two, three. So him. Four, five. Him and him. So these all take hits, so you're gonna make your saves appropriately to them. Okay. Uh, so right. whoever you want to start, are they all the same? No, he has two up, right? Because of his. We haven't been going over it, but uh, boon and mutation. Yeah. So he has two up save. Sure, gets two up. Uh, yeah, we haven't been showing it per se because they haven't always been relevant, but he currently has shred and two up armor thanks to. Uh, and fleet. And fleet, which is irrelevant because he already has it basically. So. We can go and take his two-up save for him. Oh, and then, yeah, he got Hammer of Wrath. Oh, yeah, and the Lord has Hammer of Wrath. Uh, and that's so far what's happened with the mutations. Everything else, unfortunately, has been like, he, he rolled a double, gets nothing. Yeah. And that kind of sucked. Oh, but, one guy almost turned into a demon prince. And... Yeah, Danny opted not to because he wanted to keep some of the stuff that was on him, and you lose your war gear when he becomes a demon prince, yeah. so... Uh, so he's fine. And then the other two are three ups, yeah? They're the same model, right? Yeah. Okay. So everyone is perfectly fine. However, the rhino is gone, and they're now right there. The next bit of shooting uh, will be the uh, squad in here, or my vet squad is going to shoot at the raptors. First, we're going to look at the templates. So we have the template from, there's a frag cannon basically standing right here. He's going to hit two, but he gets two template shots. So he hits this squad four times, and he hits the uh, spawn twice. So we're going to go ahead and roll for the spawn. So odd strength six, so winning him on fours. Nothing. And uh, then we have four shots onto them, so strength six. Winning on twos, and all those are wounds. So three up saves. I didn't roll any sixes, so no rending. One's dead at least. Yeah, and then next, two dead. So front two. <coughs> and uh, then we had the heavy flamer, we had the exact same hit register, so hits wounds the spawn on a five. It's dead. Oh. And wounds the marines on threes. One wound. Still in range? It, it all happens at the same time shooting wise, so. 
Yeah, fine. And then last, well not last, uh, we have two shots with the Storm Bolter, hitting on threes. Or twos, I mean. And wounding on fours. Three up saves. They're fine. And then I have, uh, you killed one shotgun, right? Yeah. So I have four shotgun shots, uh, hitting on threes. And I get to reroll the one. And wounding on fours. And shred. Two. So three up saves. Hmm. My champ would be closest. Do I uh, do you need to up? declare a lookout serve for one of these? Yeah. So you have two. two right? Do you think these two are these two? Like, because it's definitely not the outside. Yeah, it's. I'd say these are equidistant, so you can take one. So I just do one lookout, sir. Okay, past your lookout, sir. So two three up saves for the mooks. Sorry. <laughs> I'll roll it towards the Evasaur. Very good. Alright, next. Uh, the Evasaur is just gonna bolt pistol into the Raptors, hitting on three or hitting on twos. Wounding on fours. Um, not shred, so. Three up saves. Closest is uh, flamethrower. Should I make another look at lookout, sir? Because uh, you're the next closest. Just roll them both. I mean, they're all have the same armor save, right? So we're gonna look out, sir, afterwards. So flamer is dead, and you didn't, and you already made the other save, so it's all good. All right. Um, with that, the stalkers and crack missiles are going to go into the. Uh, Possessed or chosen. Starting off with the stalkers, we have 10 shots. I'm using the poison two up attack. Hitting all on threes. Ooh. Wow. Jeez. Hitting on threes and uh, <laughs> miss seven, hit three. Okay. Statistics. Uh, <laughs> wounding on twos. And Closest guy is actually going to be your champion. You can either two up him, or you can, hmm. or you can look out through him. I'll do it because they still feel no pain. Okay, so two up lookout serves, or two up armor saves. Sorry, made them all. And then last missiles, hitting on threes, wounding on twos. So three, uh, same thing. This will, does he have two wounds or does he have one? I think he only has one. No, then it doesn't, the instant killing doesn't matter then. Yeah, just one. So, up to you, two up or not. Or look out, sirs. Uh, why not? So you're gonna take them all? Roll them one at a time though, because, well, yeah, roll them one at a time if you take them on him. Otherwise you can just look out, sir, them all. Two up, two up, and two up. They're fine. All right, so finally I am declaring a charge with the Evasaur into the two remaining Raptors. So you have two bolt gun pistols, or two bolt pistol shots. Yeah. On sixes. Oh, okay, wounding me on fours. Of course. Uh, four up in vuln. fine. And 3d6 charge range. Oh yeah. Okay, so uh, Daniel has uh, opted to challenge me. <laughs> that is a very, uh, either very brave or very stupid raptor, but... Have to. <laughs> no. Have to. <laughs> I understand that, but it doesn't mean. <laughs> so with eight attacks, at an, <clears throat> at an issue of seven, I'm using the power sword. So hitting on threes at strength five for fierce charge. And wounding on threes. Now oh, they're dead. Twice over. He cut off their head and then sliced them in half just for fun. Oh, uh, this unit does have fear. You needed to do a fear test. <laughs> I'm pretty fearless. sure I'm fearless. Pretty sure. I double check. <laughs> so, uh, consolidation. Three inches. Yeah, we're gonna go sit on one. 
and next to the tree. Mm. Okay, so uh, we didn't really bother rolling. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we didn't really bother rolling objectives. Uh, I don't plus, have any new ones. That's true. You're still on the same one, which is kill the assassin or kill the captain. And uh, kill the unit and destroy the vehicle. So I guess we probably could have got to destroy the vehicle at this stage. Uh, probably, but, you know... It's kind of irrelevant now. All right, so the, uh, the they're going to split off, right? Yeah. So the Chaos Lord is going to come fight the uh, captain, and the Chosen are going to go mano a mano with the assassin. Which may not be the best, or may not be the worst idea, actually. Because the assassin actually is going to struggle to hurt two up armor. Well, he, only him. Only yeah, like, but he's going to challenge me. Yeah, yeah. So still. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like he has a choice. <laughs> he doesn't really want to challenge the drug crazed psycho, but he's gonna. All right. So starting off, we have a torrent. It's gonna essentially it's it's gonna hit them all. So uh, six hits, strength four. So wounding me on uh, fours. Oh, and just gonna ignore cover and oh, never mind. AP three. It's, it's AP three, right? right? It's scar. What's the name of the weapon? It is the burning brand of scallop thrax. Okay, <laughs> and it is uh, strength four AP three. Strength four AP three. That's pretty crazy. All right, on fours. Ooh, well then. Uh, you know what soul blaze is? Yeah, it's uh, it does a wound or at the beginning or, or end of my turn, I think. Or is it the end of any turn? Well, Either way, my squad is dead. You killed the entire squad with that. Really? Really. That is broken. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> that was a, uh, let's see, 110, 135, 145 points that you just instantly killed. <laughs> you, you've essentially killed. I, I know, I know. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that's pretty insane. <laughs> yes, that's true. All right, so just the captain's left. He's like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Guys? So he's going to shoot me with five bolt pistols because he was going to shoot me with a plasma gun, but realized it was rapid fire, so he can't charge me if he does that. So uh, five shots hitting me on threes. No gets hot. All right, it wouldn't matter. Oh, uh, pistol. And wounded me on fours. Do you mean one of the twos back we should have done this? Uh, champion has shred. Ooh. Well, Shred's to wound. Two hit or two? To wound. Just read this. It's to wound. Well, they're hit. Here, how about this? Okay, so you missed two, right? Yes. Uh, we're say uh, a five or six on both on either of these, or yeah. Uh, we will roll basically until we hit two, right? Or wait, hold on. Oh yeah, you're right. Two wound. We Sorry. still got to figure out if the champion hit. <laughs> Yeah, so we're going to try to figure out if the champion hit on a, we're re-roll six, and on a four or five he missed, on a one, two, or three he hit. He missed. So no shred. Oh, sad day. So, wounding me on fours. Wow, you guys. Killing me. Okay, are you charging me now? Yeah. Alright, I'm going to overwatch. Four shots hitting on threes. Or hitting on twos. Because, uh... Uh, assassin or uh, Eversor gets to overwatch it. Full ballistic skill, wounding you on fours. Three up saves, cause closest is him, and then him. So you can take him one at a time. Yes. Fun. Dead and mm -hmm. two up saves. Feel no pain. Oh yeah, feel no pain. He's dead. dead. And two up save. He's fine. So now we have charge distance. Oh yeah, they're in. Okay, so uh, he has opted, obviously, because he has to challenge me. So, uh, but in light of that, I know my power sword won't ignore his armor. So I'm going to use the Fleshbane Shred, uh, Nero Gauntlet, Sh Shredder Gauntlet, stuff like that. Uh, hitting on threes. Wow. That's pretty bad. And wooden gun twos. So two up saves. 
Yeah, fine. All right, hits me back with uh, to see have he has two base, one for a charge and one for uh, close combat pistol, right? So yeah. Cool. So four attacks. He's is he corn? No, it's Slanesh. Okay. So oh, it's just initiative, but that doesn't help you here. Do assassins uh, count as armies of the Imperium? Yes. So I have hatred against you. Okay. So reroll failed to wounds of one, I think. I think it was to. Starting off with the uh, chosen champion. Yes. Uh, so hitting me on fours and we get a re-roll because of uh, hatred. Do we count this one or you want yeah, to re-roll? Yeah, you got it. And you get a re-roll that one because you missed. Still oh. missed. And strength four? Strength four. So winning me on fours. Hmm. Uh, shred though because of his uh, boon chaos boon upgrade. I'm sorry. <laughs> and still misses. So uh, four pinball. Fine. All right. Now we get the other Mooks. The grunts. Three each, right? Because uh, charge. They have one attack base, or is they two attack base? They have one attack base, except one of them doesn't have a power sword, so he's just. Yeah, I don't care about power swords because yeah. um, I'm pinball. Okay, so three attacks with the charge plus close. See, one, two attack base or one. One. Okay, one attack base, plus charge plus two weapons. So and nine attacks. Did I write this down? Sorry. We actually added three more attacks to this because they are actually a base attack too. So hitting on fours. Let me just roll it in yep. here. And you get hatred first turn, or is that just the champion? It says first turn. Of, yeah, all. Okay. Yes, guys, that hatred against our okay. of Imperium. And wound me on fours. Alright. Hopefully you guys do better. Nope. They do not have shred, however. I think the blue one was already down. I think it was, was just it? the red and blue. Red and white. Okay. And four pin bones. Fit saved and so he's at one, and I feel no pain. Fine. So we just uh, chill there together, hugging. Uh, first, we have he's going to declare one more charge, the Chaos Lord, into the uh, uh, captain here. So Overwatch on six. Nope. And this is a 11-inch charge. Woo! That was close. He doesn't have fleet or anything, right? Uh, no. Fearless, Samurai Wrath, stubborn. All right. Poor Chaos Lord. He, he gave it a good try there, though. In the combat, I am going to opt to hit and run, so anything but a 6. Yep, I hit and run, and I'll go 2d6. I'm going to go that way, towards 1, essentially. Uh, 3 inches, so. Basically just going to hop out and stand right there. Uh, you do get a consolidate here, if you want to make a consolidation roll. You, guys. you just want to move towards the assassin? Yeah. I mean, they can't really do much, so... There. They take a step towards the assassin. Alright, going into uh, Death Watch movement phase. This is already measured. Uh, captain's going to go to there. Bikes are going to come up to here. Driving underneath. And shooting phase... Stalker bolt guns are going to fire into, uh, hold on. so we have one, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten, with the uh, poison two up shot into the um, squad here of the chosen, hitting on threes, wounding. Oh, wait, that's of the elite, they're elite, right? Yeah, gonna re roll the one. I thought you switched to fast attack. Oh, I did fast attack. You're right. Blah. And winning on twos. So, two up saves, basically? One at a time? Yeah. Because he's out front, unless you want to look at serum. But can I move this? Yeah, you can just move it. <laughs> it's pretty relevant now. So, look at sirs. <clears throat> oh, he's just dead. Oh, fill up, fill up, That is fine. Two up. Fine. 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 <sighs> okay. 
Now four shots, crack missiles, hitting on threes. Winning on twos. So two up armor. At some point, man, at some point. Uh, four shots from the Eversaur, hitting on twos, wounding on fours. Two ups. Two up saves. Let's do this. Try to decide if I want to push my luck again. <laughs> And six shots. Uh, or use the poison up on these guys as well. Twin linked though. Hitting on threes. Twin linked. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. And wounding on twos. Yeah, five up, five up, come on, fail, fail, fail. Ah, he's finally dead. The guy tanked everything and a three up, and he's just dead. Mm -hmm. Oh, five up. Okay. Five up, five up. Nope. Swish. Alright. And Storm Bolter shot into the Chaos Lord on twos. There, oh, wait. One hit. And Master Crafted. Uh, hit wounds on uh, fours. Tough is four, right? It doesn't matter. I roll twos. Yeah, it doesn't matter, L2s. So, uh, we're we'll gonna start off with the assassin. He's gonna charge. You wanna overwatch with your bolt pistols? So, sixes. Well, uh, one of them has a plasma gun. Oh. So, yes. Plasma gun, bolt oh, pistol. So you get two shots if you do plasma gun. Perfect. So, the reds would be plasma, the white is bolt pistol. Nope. Uh, 3d6 charge. Woo. That's close, but that's still five inches. That's it. <laughs> okay, second charge, bikes. They're in. Probably gonna get two hammer of rats. And final charge, what's his range? Oh, you get a wall of flame on him, don't you? I guess. Yeah. So uh, D3 hits. <clears throat> Three hits. Wounding me on fours. And two up saves. <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay. And he's soul blaze now. So we're put a soul blaze marker on him. All right. And charge range here. He's in. Seven inches is plenty. All right. So what do you want to start with here? Do you want to do the chaos lord? Or do you want to save that one for last here? Uh, let's save him for last. All right, so we're gonna attack with the power sword. Eversor goes first at initiative seven. So he has eight attacks, hitting on threes from the charge, and wounding on strength five. So wounding on threes. They're dead. Super, super, super dead. Feel no pains though. That's all we got. Ooh. <coughs> Made a valiant effort. <laughs> He <laughs> only impaled two, but there's only two left, so they're dead. And we're go to our uh, fight night here, essentially. Oh yeah. So he is at two health. Your chaos lord's at full, right? Yes. All right, let me double check my attacks. So we have four attacks from. Uh, we actually your same initiative, so your initiative six. Oh, maybe not. He's actually Marcus Lanesh, so he does go first. He has three attacks, hitting me on fours. Wow. And wounding me on fours. Wow. Two ups. All right, we're okay. <laughs> I was worried there. All right, four, uh, four attacks, hitting on fours. What? Wow. What? What? Oh, uh, okay, that happened. So, shall we speed combat this? You just want to speed combat? Blow for blow. Blow for blow. So you gotta go first. Three attacks, hitting me on fours. We're gonna go Captain versus whatever the hell you are. <laughs> Captain versus Chaos Lord. Motto, motto. 
I'm gonna throw the boon dice in here. <laughs> yes, okay. So you're gonna get three, not four. I'm oh, sorry. And she, I, 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 see I, I got is. the. Uh... No, I see. I see how chaos is. Whatever. <laughs> All right, hitting me on fours. Uh, two. Hatred. That's only in first you're round right, of combat. First round, you're right. And you hit me with all your attacks first round, I think. And uh, wounding me on boars. One. Mm, wow. Two up. Not using these again. Two up. Three attacks this time because I'm not on the charge. Hitting on boars. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> Three attacks! On boars. No. Three attacks. Ah. Ooh. On fours. No, wait, that's actually on twos because uh, plus two strength, so I'm strength six. All right. So you're down to two now, right? You're normally I three? I have uh, four up in bone. Oh. Okay. <laughs> mm. Yay. Two. Two. All right, you go first. On fours. Oh my god. On fours. On four. Oh wait, I'm mastercrafted. I keep. Oh, I've missed so many attacks because I'm mastercrafted. I think that's only once per. Oh wait. Once, yeah. once per hit. Yeah. Fours. Yeah, didn't matter. At least on that one. <laughs> I think I missed at least like three attacks. Oh. Uh, on fours. Four been bold. Fine. Your attack. Speed rolls. It's fine. On fours. Mastercrafted. On fours. Ooh. Four of invulns. Down to one! I think I know how this is going to happen. <laughs> Alright. Go. Fours. That was two hits. That was a four. It just knocked over. Fours. Master crafted. Fours. Master crafted. No. <laughs> Damn it. Three fours, I mean. No. Threes would have been nice. <laughs> Threes would have been nice. Oh. Nope. Fours. Master craft. Oh my god! What is going on? Uh oh. Mm, uh, ah, it's okay. Fours. Master crafted? Damn it! Four. No! Son of a bitch! How do we roll this bad, Daniel? Fours. Master crafted. Yes! Fours! Alright, four pinball. Where he dies, finally. <laughs> You're a glutton for this punishment now. On fours. Uh oh. Fours to wound. Two up. Fine. On fours to hit. Master crafted. Fours to wound. One. Four pinball. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's so fine. <laughs> I, I don't even know how many rounds of combat. I will probably try to tally that up and uh, put that in the uh, in the comment <laughs> or in my random comments when I edit the videos. But that was a crazy fight that just would not. <laughs> At least they were relatively evenly matched. I mean, now yeah, relatively. I mean, I had two up saves versus but four up in bones. Still, that was that, that probably went way longer than it should have. You would, <laughs> that was some awful rolling. Yeah, charge me with the rest of this. That would have been. Yeah, but you know the captain has to sometimes show how it's done, how you uh, put an end to the agents of chaos. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, obviously, that doesn't really have a report. I uh, hope you enjoyed that last like I don't know about eight rounds of combat plus. <laughs> well, at least. <laughs> We will find out <laughs> whenever I edit this, but as always guys, thanks so much for watching, and if you enjoy these, please do like and or subscribe if you want to stick around with this and join us in the post game. We're talking a little bit about how Daniel felt about the Chaos Warband, and, you know, it'll be pretty brief, I think, though, but, uh, anyways, 
if you guys want to join us for that, please do. Hey guys, welcome to the post game there for this game. Um, <clears throat> so, obviously that kind of went a little bit lopsided. Um, I don't, I, I, I don't know the answer. Um, I tried to field smaller squads. Uh, I didn't really have a lot of AP3. I had some, but, you know, I tried not to field anything too crazy. Um, I actually had several lists and I kind of went with one of the ones I thought was a little weaker. Um, clearly that was not weak enough, or the case, I guess. Uh, um, right. Yeah, in the end he killed, let's see, five vets worth about 150 points, and then... That was only with possibly the cheesiest <laughs> weapon <laughs> Chaos have available. Yeah, and then um, killed two bikers worth about 70 points, so... With, like, bolt pistols. <laughs> with bolt pistols, yes. Yeah. The only two wounds the bikers took the entire match, they uh, they died to. Got both ends of the spectrum here. Yeah. Um, but, so he knocked out around a quarter of my army, point-wise. All right. You tabled me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, I'm not, I'm not, like, saying it was close here. I'm just saying that, you know, about what was accomplished. Definitely. Um, so, yeah, um... Thoughts on the on the Chaos Warband? Um, I mean, it's it really is basically a upgraded version of a CAD. So I mean, if it was on anyone but Chaos, it would be amazing. But I, I think we can safely say that the Chaos Warband is not enough on its own to uh, to really you know pull Chaos you know back into it. Although I mean, Death Watch are a pretty rough army. Um, we thought about putting him up against Dark Eldar and yeah, Harlequins, cool. but yeah, we, we kind of thought that would be really bad. Um, so we ended up matching up, matching them up against Death Watch. I thought about toyed with putting Scions instead since they're fragile, but again, you know, I, they do have AP3, so er basically everything they shot would have ignored his armor, which... I felt would be a bad thing, so instead I went with the option to make sure he always got his armor save minus the missiles, which really weren't there for the Chaos Marines, they were there for the vehicles. And for some reason the Chosen so tanked the hell out of that. Yeah, yeah no, the, 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 the Chosen Champion kind of was uh, crazy. Uh, yeah, that was a boon roll actually, the plus one armor. Yeah, that was that was that was, that was a really cool boon roll. So I mean that yeah. that is a good reason, you know, a positive, very positive, big positive because you got the shred out of it. You got the plus two armor. Yeah. You got um, what'd you get for the chaos lord? It was something. You got a uh, hammer of wrath and stubborn. Yeah, and stubborn. <laughs> the stubborn is got stubborn squared. Yeah, he got stubborn twice, so he became stubborn squared. Um, oh, yeah, it, it was it was pretty funny, unfortunately. Um, I kind of think maybe you should have taken the Demon Prince. I understand why you didn't, because you paid for, like, if it 30 been, plus yeah. points of, of upgrades for the guy. Oh, way more. More? Okay. So, that that's why he didn't take the Demon Prince, because the, the guy who got it just had a stupid amount of upgrades. Like, if it had been, if he had roll, rolled for that for, like, one of the Chaos Space Marines, yeah. like, oh, Demon hell yeah, Prince, Demon Prince instantly. But, like, he, he would have lost a lot of the, you know, stuff he paid for. I hesitantly say he might still... I would have lost. It would have feel no pain on the squad. Yeah, and he would have lost the plasma gun. He would have lost. I don't know. It's it's it really is a hard call. Yeah. But I, I can sort of understand why he didn't. But on the same token, I, I could I, I could see benefits to it because it would have been another unit on the table I had to shoot at. Yeah. And yeah, it just would have caused some havoc. <laughs> but I, I that's the reasoning. Um, either way, I, I think the it definitely is a cool aspect to see the boons, right? Yes. because I mean, Normally you don't get that many boons, but no. uh, and we didn't really show most of them, but in fairness, one of the rounds he rolled double nothing. And then the other rounds were... I mean, the, the Demon Prince thing was the biggest thing. Um, we had just kind of decided we'd just talk about them after we rolled on them, and we kind of forgot about it until about in the middle of the game to talk about what they were. Yeah. Um, well, but, that's when they became relevant. Yeah, exactly. When, when they became relevant is when we brought them up, but... Until then, they were kind of like, eh, okay. Um, still, I, I again, the Chaos Boon Table, in my opinion, I think is something that's pretty underutilized in the Codex. Well, 
It's hard to use. Uh, yeah, I'd say it's only specifically. underutilized because you have to get your men into combat and win. And win challenges, yeah. And and kill guys. But, um, I mean, at least that that's still... I, I stand by that being the cool thing about the formation. Though, that, you know, normally you wouldn't be able to get literally... 10 boons, essentially, or attempt to roll 10 times on the table yeah. on whatever you want. But because of the formation, you do get that. Um, I think because of the quantity of rolls, it also will make getting those demon princes more common. And spawn. And spawn more common. <laughs> well, in fairness, spawn, you can pick. You'd have to roll double spawn to get spawn, because you can say, I'm not taking the spawn result. Um, it does say that. Okay. Um, but I, I think... What we kind of saw is, I think, the Warband, for it to be truly good, I think you would want to almost fill it with rather expendable units that you're willing to take those rolls and just, like, you know, roll, roll, roll to try to get Demon Prince or whatever. And, like, that's what you're hoping for by taking Warband. Um, well, that did become part of, like, what I had to consider is, like, do I roll on it for, like, some of my, like, better champions? Or true. Because, just... yeah, it's true. If you, if you got... You know, the two-up armor on some random chaos yeah, space marine guy, you don't really care. Great. Versus the guy with the power sword is a bigger deal. Yeah. Um, so that, and Shame of Shred and all that. Like, that is a much bigger deal. But, um, yeah, it's it's one of those hard things. Um, you just kind of have to guess at what you're going to roll, which is yeah, kind of gambling with it. But well, that's it's kind of chaos in a nutshell. Yeah. <laughs> Uh -huh. The crazed roll for the... Yeah, the crazed... Oh, that was awful. The crazed roll, yeah. I fully expected, like, after I shot and missed in the back, point blank, the thing was just going to turn around and, like, hit me with the melty gun and I was going to explode or something. And then if I failed that, we he charged me and then we basically just kill each other with power fists. But... Yeah. Instead, because of, again, chaos in a nutshell, just decided to stand there doing nothing, basically. Um, <laughs> the Dreadnought missed again, point blank, but yet made that, like, shot from halfway across the table into rear armor of the Rhino and blew it up. <laughs> like, couldn't hit the guy right in front of him, but, you know, the guy halfway across the map through a ruin manages to nail. Maybe he's, uh, nearsighted. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was nearsighted. No, farsighted. Farsighted. Yeah, he'd be farsighted. <laughs> you just can't see the guy right in front of him. He's like, <laughs> aim up and right, yeah. Um, it was pretty bad, but... Um, yeah, I, I basically, like I said, I think the KS Warband, just on its own, isn't going to be enough. I think you might, in fairness, we're only playing at 1,000. Yeah. So, you know, for you guys out there playing 1750 to, to 2,000, um, you know, obviously you can fit the Warband, and you can bring, you know, other stuff like Raptor Talon or, uh, what's the name of the mechanical faction with the character? Uh, Cult of, oh, the... Like held roots, yeah. Thing. Oh, that's a uh, war pack. Yeah, war. You can, yeah, you can do war packs. You can bring uh, the corn squads. You can bring, yeah. I mean, there's a lot to do. Yeah, there, there's there's a lot of stuff, and I think the chaos warband works better in conjunction, um, which is, I think, evidenced by the fact you got all those rolls. I think they were good, but whenever that's all you have on the table, it's you still are basically just building basic chaos. You aren't getting any, I mean, yeah, you're getting the special rules, but you're not getting to take advantage of any of the new cool stuff, like, you know, adding three inches to all your charge ranges, or, um, you know, deep striking plus charging, or getting characters out of vehicles. Yeah. So there's a lot of cool stuff out there that is in the chaos book, but I mean, I, I, I think just taken in a small snapshot of it, it just doesn't work on its own. I will say, like, I probably spent a fourth of my points on just the Chosen, like, with the Rhino. Yeah. Was, it was that, and that's mandatory for the Warband, basically? Uh, it could be Chosen, Possessed, or Terminators. Oh. And I had never fielded the Chosen before, so... So you gave them a shot, yeah. Gave them a shot. That was expensive. Jeez. Yeah, well, they got expensive, because, you know, had to buy plasma guns, had to buy power swords. Um, I don't know, like, if I did this again, I probably would have spent those points elsewhere. Not to say that squad wasn't great, but I think you're right. Like, gotta have some of that other stuff in there. Yeah. yeah I, th I think just taken on its own, it's just not enough. Um, speaking of being stuff being taken on its own, uh, 
The one after this one you see will probably be uh, Chaos versus Tau, and we're going to be taking a look at the Raptor Talons, right? <clears throat> and possibly something else. Maelstorm else. Storm of Gore. Oh, you're going to go full melee versus Tau. Ooh. Perhaps. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> we're uh, we're see what we can do with the Ollie enlist, and hopefully that thing isn't too crazy. But we kind of need to leave it a little crazy, or else yeah. we can't really see... And, and that is the goal of the matchup, is going to be seeing, hey, is this formation enough to sort of deal with some of the Tau cheesiness? Like, can you make this work? Yeah. And so while it may end up being somewhat one-sided, uh, the idea is to sort of, you know, s see the formation in a vacuum, yeah. and then, you know, we can make better decisions whenever we, you know, play a larger game, where you maybe you have, like, Chaos Warband plus other stuff, mm -hmm. or Raptor Talon plus other stuff, et cetera, et cetera. But... Um, yeah, I don't think there's too much more to say about the game. It was, uh, pretty awful rolls, I think, on both sides. Um, minus armor saves for you. Yeah. Your armor saves were good. Everything else was pretty bad for both of us. All my run moves. Yeah, the run moves. Like, every single run move was a one or a two the entire game for you. Holy crap. Um, yeah. Nah, I, I missed an insane amount of three and four hit, like, four hits, and, yeah. And... Yeah, it, it was the it was some awful rolling that game for both of us. It was exemplified by that final Chaos Lord versus Captain fight. Um, that was just awful. Yeah, <laughs> definitely a little weird. Yeah, um, like I said, hopefully we'll or, or see how many rounds that was. But um, as always, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you guys enjoy these, please do like and or subscribe. It means a lot to us. Until next time, guys. Take care.